he was trying to find probability of two freshmen. Both are freshmen, the same thing as two freshmen, given at least one is freshman. I use greater than or equal to to represent at least. As I said before, uh, shorthanded is always the best. Safety time. So, as with all other conditional probability problem, we translate that to the intersection over the thing on the right. Let's look at the bottom first. I always like looking at the bottom first. To have at least one freshman mean you have one freshman or two freshmen and not no freshman. So I'm just gonna take one minus the probability of no freshman. Probability of zero freshmen is the same thing as saying both of them are sophomores. To have both sophomores, we have combination 3 choose 2 over combination 7 choose 2. And this is a combination problem because we are selecting 2 without regard to order or rows. Two freshmen intersect at least one freshman. Well, if you have two freshmen, you have at least one freshman. So to say at least one freshman is redundant. To have two freshmen, we have four freshmen to choose from, and we choose two over the combination seven choose two. Seven choose two is 21. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this 21 over 21 first. And I'm actually gonna cancel out all 21s. Four choose two is Six. Three choose two is three, so twenty one minus three on the bottom. That's eighteen. Six over eighteen, which is the same thing as one third, is your final answer.